Okay. Okay, we're gonna be doing a Hall Knight uh, tier list. Okay. The last one did great. We got two comments uh, of people not knowing what an opinion is, but hey, I'm just joking. But you know, we're gonna do it again. This shouldn't be any more controversial because it's just um, areas and there's only like whatever twenty or whatever. Wait. Yeah, I can't count. Uh, but yeah, we're just gonna rank the areas. Haven't still haven't played Hall Knight re recently, but. More recently than uh, before. So, let me do the charms tier list. Got my cat on my lap. And we're gonna get started. Might as well go in the order of this. Which I'm pretty sure it's alphabetical. So, ancient basin. C tier. You see what this one is? I really like how this area looks. But there's not really much in it, if I'm being honest. There's not many cool enemies. There's just like two, three, three enemies. Well, for the most part. That are like native to that area, at least. And the little dark scrub, the little dark grub thingies are not grubs, not, gr not grubs. Yeah, I haven't played this in a while, but. You know, the darker little bugs. Then the Malex, and then the. Worse Molex and what the hell are these ads? Uh, yeah, all the bad stuff. I mean, great stuff. I love how it looks. I love this dark atmosphere. But for the most part, it's not exactly a very interesting area. Pretty not the largest, but I do. I'd say it's decent. C tier is probably a bit not not the best for it. But you know, what can you do? All right, we're gonna add a F tier so this doesn't look so bad. Okay, so next we got City of Tears. Already in A tier. I think that's kind of obvious. I mean, you can't really go wrong with the City of Tears. Because it's the City of Tears. You know, it's calming. Great music. Huge area with two different sides. Up, down. Darn elevators. Maybe not the best, but... It's just an overall great place. Multiple bosses. Probably pretty sure the biggest place... Don't know for sure, but it's just, yeah, it's really solid. Crystal Peak. I was dreading this one. Crystal Peak is a really cool area, and cool atmosphere, love the colors, everything looks cool, but it sucks, you know what I mean? I mean, the miners, not exactly the most fun fight, as their pickaxe sewing is way too accurate for my liking, and... Lasers, I'm not really a fan of lasers now that I've come to it. Crystal Guardian, very fun boss, but it's not this kind of still very simple. It's only fun because of how easy it is. Well, you know, just whatever, let's move on. Crystal Peak, I think, even though it's insufferable, I think it's a pretty low, solid B tier. I think that's fine. Deepness. This is a hard one to choose. Because I'm also split on this one just like Crystal Peak. Because of the pretty same reasons. It has an incredible atmosphere. Where you're... It's just really well made. I wish there was a music for it in the, in the official soundtrack for it. I don't know why. But if Nosk isn't good enough, I need something to scare my friends. But honestly... Deepness gets a higher B tier for that. I think it's a lot more solid of a place. It has a big contrast. I mean, they are like opposite ends of the allness, but yeah. Dirt Mouth. Now, Dirt Mouth, it, it, it's probably, it's pretty small, if I'm being honest. But, you know what they say, size does not matter. Because, Elder Bug. And other people. I don't think Coral goes up there, which mm, that really tips it for me, but this is back to like home base. You feel at home. You have the sly shop. You have El Zelda if you ever go back there after you sell out sell out. Alder Bog you can talk to. All the other people if you save them and show up like it's just a great place to be. 
And you always feel safe because you know nothing can get you. It's a safe bench. I mean, all other benches are technically safe, but well, you know, yeah, yeah mostly. Okay, let's Fog Canyon, D tier. I really love the atmosphere of Fog Canyon, but here's the issue with Fog Canyon. Also, I checked, there's not exactly a song for it. Okay, I haven't listened to it in a while, but there's not any specific song. I like Deep Nest, because I Deep Nest. I think we all know that we hear you hear things in deepness. But Fog Canyon, it's a chill place, but it's rather boring and there's like there's two enemies. Jellyfish and big jellyfish. And big jellyfish is just a more annoying version of the other one. Making this not exactly and the not fun to traverse either with how it's formatted, where it's just kinda of a bunch of like columns down. We're not really columns, but like the level is just like mainly vertical and then there's just rooms on the sides so i'm not really a fan of how this one is plays in a bit of an awkward area between queen's gardens you know green pass waste of fungal yeah it's just really not the best and those eggs no one likes those eggs and acid it's just it looks cool but you, but I hate it. You know, I don't hate it though. Forgotten Crossroad. Now, I this and Infected Crossroads are definitely going somewhere else. Forgotten Crossroads, perfect intro like area. You know, you have all the different areas. Yeah, so infected crossroads really fit here, but because there's no infected crossroads, we don't need to worry about that. So we just move on. So fungal waste. This one goes in a mid B tier. Okay, bring it there. It's a cool area, and including mantis area, it's definitely one of the coolest areas with some chill. It's fairly, it's fairly big. Yeah, there's not really much wrong with this one. There's definitely a lot of annoying. Like, uh, bugs, uh, enemies, per se. But, so we're all pretty solid. Green Path. This one's also an A tier. Like, for Ultra Cross, it's a good, like, you know, beginner, but you're, like, you past the beginner one, but you're still in beginner their, their territory. It's just really chill anytime you go there. Not many difficult enemies, but it definitely, like, levels you on, gets you... Better, especially with Hornet. And overall, very solid. You, you feel kind of just happy there, I guess. Helen Cliffs. When I first found the Helen Cliffs, I thought it was cool because it was so easy to, you know, get through because there's no hard enemies. It's literally just all from King's Pass and stuff. And, uh, Crossroads. So there's not much wrong with it whatsoever, but it's not fun to traverse. It's definitely a cool area, but unlike Kingdom's Edge, it's just not as cool. Because, you know, it's the other edge of King, if you know me. But there's, like, random holes. There's It's just a weird area. And it's also not interesting at all because it's just... Yeah, it's just kind of odd. But, but Gorb, 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 Gorb does make it be changed it a little bit. We might put this, put this in Gorb here. I think that, that works. Gorb. Jellyfish, is, jellyfish and Gorb are kind of similar. Uh, or, I don't know. We'll see. Kingdom's Edge. This goes in a high B tier for me. Only thing wrong is that the enemies in Kingdom's Edge... Okay, that's why I put... Suck. No, they're, they're awful. Hi, yeah, the real the little hoppers. They are a good way to farm Geo if you don't want to do the little big guys in the, the little big guys in King Station. But uh, they, they're, they're hopping, hence the name. It's incredibly annoying, and even though it's, I was, you'd say it's predictable, it just feels unpredictable, which is never really good. 
And then there's the big hoppers, which is, are even worse. And when I first time going to King's Edge, that was absolutely terrifying with the big hoppers. I wouldn't say terrifying, but it was, you know, stress. It's a bit stressful because it's come out of nowhere. And then I think we all know what the other enemy is. We won't speak of them. We can move on to Queen Gar Queen's Guardians. Now, Queen's Guardians, Gardens, it's a great looking area. I haven't been to it much, mainly because I only went there. For what I needed to get there for. Like the, the flower quest. Get Tree Lord, the uh, white lady, you know, get the thing for the thing, King Soul or whatever. Uh, I'm forgetting everything. It's been that long. And, you know, all, all the good stuff. I mean, I guess scrubs too. But it overall, visually, it's definitely one of the like best looking areas. Looks like just a cooler green path, in a way, that just looks just a lot more royal and has Queen's Gardens. It's just overall cooler in every way. But, here's one issue. The enemies. There's these little, little thing, like bushes thing that shoot out thorns. I do not like those, because it's annoying, because I get hit with the thorns. Then there's... What is there? Like the man, the like weird mantises, whatever. No, I like. Why did you have to put mantises that won't respect me and that, I that are actually a little more you know difficult to deal with compared to the other ones. And that's annoying. And the the weird spider thingies. I forgot what they're called. They're just they just they're like hoppers, but except they like fly. So overall, a gr really cool looking place, but along with the platforming, spikes, weird things, it's such a late game place while looking like early game. It's like late game green path, like, like I said. So this one, it's, I'm really divided because I haven't been there much, yet when seeing it, it's absolutely gorgeous, but it's so painful. Which is what, and what you notice that I was split like this with Deep as a Crystal Peak. I think this, but I feel like I might need to get back on this one. This is a high CTR. I might angry some people there, but, um, I mean, kind of, I don't really, what's wrong with, why, why be angry? Let's move on. Resting Grounds. Resting Grounds, I mean, a very fitting name, because besides Dirtmouth, it's like, it's just a resting place, except for, I only go there for non-resting reasons, or I guess, Dream Nail, but, you know. Western Grounds is a pretty just, it's a very chill place, along with the music. It's just, yeah, it's, it's just, it's just really chill. Now, but where do I put it? It's overall not that interesting. But, we're going to put it in a me medium B tier, because I think it's pretty solid. Now we're in Royal Waterways. God, no. Please, no. What is that? Now, this, the issue with this one is, like, like some of these things, it not only does it not look cool, it doesn't sound cool, does it feel cool, it's not cool. Sure, there's two bosses. First one isn't a boss, one sucks. The second one, okay, is cool. The boss itself is really cool. Bo the boss battle itself, not not the most memorable, even though it's a fairly unique, fairly interesting uh, fight. But that's just me. Probably not a memorable area. But it's so overall just... I don't like it. You know, it's just... I don't want to hear the ASMR from those things that literally have three lives. Or, yeah, we'll just move on. We don't need to talk about the waterways anymore. They're, they're called Royal Waterways, but... <laughs> I don't know if that's Royal, bro. Now, lastly, we got the Hive. DLC thing connected to King's Edge and Ancient Basin. This area... I mean, only went there for the one, re the two, the like two, three reasons I needed there, like grub, mask shard, and uh, hive, hive blood. And of all, I wouldn't say I enjoyed it. It is a really cool looking place. I will give it that. But the only things in there are bees, bees, and bees. It was like the what the guy with the bees inside. I don't even know anymore. But. Nah, bro. I can't deal with that many bees, bro. Bees are cool. But that many bees? It's a lot of bees, bro. 
Speaking of Bs. Actually, I'm not going to put in B tier, so that won't really work. But the thing with the Hive is, I think it's a really cool area. But the overall, like, level design of them are not very, are really just annoying. And particularly with the big, the big bees, because there's, there's little bees. Got a little thing with bees inside. Angry bees and big bees. That's what, that's how I describe it. Even though they're technically all angry because they keep attacking us, but whatever. They're with the hive, yeah. So, I'm, I'm looking to a C tier here. C tier. I think that's solid. The hive, the hive just looks cool, and there are the hive knight is a is a great boss, but the overall traversing through it is annoying, and the enemies are also annoying. And sure, when you get high blood, they don't really attack you. I'm pretty sure. But who's gonna use hive blood, and who's gonna go back to the hive if you don't need it? And the bees aren't that bad. So I mean, okay, I would love how it's funny how I was complaining about the bees, but I'm saying that they're not bad because. Whatever. Point is, we're done with the we're done we're done with the tier list. Uh, tell me your what you think of the uh, comments. Mainly what your was instead of uh, roasting mine because that would make more sense. But yeah, uh, do not subscribe.